Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Okay, in the previous video, we have learned about a BJT in brief, right? So today, we will continue with a transistor structure, operation, characteristic and parameters, okay? Okay, the BJT is constructed using three semiconductor regions, name, collector or C here, okay, and then we also have B or base, and finally, emitter or E. Okay, and there are two types of BJT and there are NPN and PNP. Okay, so which one NPN and which one is PNP? Okay, so this is NPN and this is PNP. Alright, but now, can you spot the difference between these two? Okay, can you try? What is the difference between these two? Okay, so if you look, Cat here, okay, the different is for the NPN, for the NPN, it has two N region here, which separated by one P region, okay, and for the PNP, it has two P region, which are separated by N region, okay, and then the PN junction here, Joining with the base and collector is called as a VC junction or base collector junction. Okay, and then the PN junction here joining with the base and emitter is called as a BE junction. Okay, and this is also true for the PNP. Okay, so this is. This is BC junction and this is BE junction, okay? Okay, now let's look for the bias arrangement of the NPN and PNP. Okay, so here we have uh, NPN and PNP, okay? So, again, can you spot the difference between these two? Okay, so what is the difference between NPN and PNP? Okay, so if you look at here, the difference is actually lies uh, between the polarity here. Okay, so for the NPN, it is minus plus, minus plus, and for the PNP, it is plus, minus, and plus, Minus, okay, but for both cases, it uh, the VBB here, the VB here actually forward bias the BE junction, okay, so this is BE junction. So for the NPN, it is forward bias as the current flows here, okay, but for the PNP, the current will flow here from here, so again. The BE junction here is forward bias, okay? And then for the VCC, okay, VCC here, for both cases or for both type, uh, it actually reverse bias the BC junction, okay? So this is BC junction for the BNP. So this is actually reverse bias same goes to the npn here the bc junction here is actually reverse bias okay because the current cannot flow here it can flow through this path only okay so we can say that in both cases the be junction is forward bias and the bc junction is reverse bias Okay, now let's look for the path of the current for both NPN and PNP. Okay, so for the NPN, the current flows from the base and from the collector to the emitter. Okay, so this is IE, this is IB, and this is IC. 
Okay, and for the PNP, the current flows from the emitter to the base as well as to the collector. So this is IC, IB, and IE. Okay, so for the NPN, uh, using Ohm's law, we know that current in equal to current out, right? So IB plus IC equals to IE. Okay, and for the PNP, IE equals to IB plus IC, isn't it? Okay, so for both cases, we can say that IE equals to IB plus IC. Okay, but please note that the base current is actually very small if compared to the collector current or emitter current. Okay. Okay, there are two important parameters to analyze the transistor circuit, which are DC beta and DC alpha. Okay, so DC beta is actually the DC current gain and it is the ratio of the DC collector current IC to the DC base current or IB. Okay, and its typical range value from uh, 20 to 200 or higher. Okay, and for the DC alpha, it is actually the ratio of the DC collector current IC to the DC emitter current or I, e, okay, and it is range from 0 0.95 to 0 0.99 or greater, okay. Okay, now let's do the current and voltage analysis for the NPN circuit, okay. So, to do this analysis, let's divide this circuit into three parts, okay. So, for the first part, okay, this is the first part. Okay, so when BE junction, this is P, this is E, and this is C, right? So when the BE junction is forward bias, it actually acts like a PN junction diode, which has a nominal voltage drop of 0 0.7 volt. Okay, so we can say that VBE equal to 0 0.7 volt. Volt. And then as the emitter is at ground, okay, this is ground, okay, the voltage across RB or VRB, okay, can be found using KVL, okay, so using KVL. Minus VBB plus VRB plus VBE equal to zero. Okay, so VRB equal to VBB minus VBE. Okay, so this is question number one. And then using Ohm's law, we know that V rb equal to ib rb so let this be equation number two okay so by substituting two into one we will get ib rb equal to vbb minus vbe Okay, so the current across RB or IB equal to VBB minus VBE over RB. Okay, so this is the current the current across RB. Okay, now let's consider the second part of the circuit to find the VCE. Okay, so this is the second part. Okay, so again, using KVL, using KVL, 
we can get minus VCC plus this is VRC. So plus VRC plus VCE equal to 0. Thus VCE equal to VCC minus V. RC. Okay, so let this equation be equation number 3 or third equation. Okay, but we also know that the VRC equal to IC RC. Okay, so now substitute equation 4 into equation 3. So we will get VCE equal to VCC minus IC RC where IC is given by DC beta times IB. Okay. Okay, so for the final part, let's consider this circuit to uh, determine the voltage across the reverse bias collector uh, base junction or the BC junction. Okay, so we know that VCB plus VBE equal to VCE. Okay, so... VCB equal to VCE minus VBE. Okay, so that's it for today. And for today's class, I use this book as a reference. Okay, so that's it. See you again in the next video. Okay, after this, we will continue with BJT characteristic and parameters. Thank you. Bye-bye.